Climate change is one of the greatest challenges facing our generation. And the political leaders of our time will be judged by future generations on our ability to rise to this challenge. In less than three months from now, the test is on. The world must come together in Copenhagen and deliver a viable solution. A solution that provides a strong response to climate change. A solution that stimulates green growth and sustainable development. Our success depends on our ability to reach an agreement that is consistent with science and an agreement that is conducive to development, economic recovery and future growth. In practical terms, this means an agreement that limits the rate in global temperature to a maximum of 2 degrees Celsius, in particular by way of stimulating the new green economy. The deal must be based on the principle of equity. It shall be practicable and it shall send a clear signal to industry to engage in the transition to a low-carbon economy. It is my firm conviction that concluding a political agreement of this magnitude requires the full engagement of the highest political level. I will therefore urge all heads of states and governments to render your political authority to the process, to instruct your negotiators to reach flexible solutions to be finalized in Copenhagen. And I will invite all heads of states and governments to engage in the process ahead with a view to concluding a political agreement in Copenhagen. That will be a proper answer to the call for action by science. That will be a proper answer to the call for clarity from industry. And that will be the proper answer to the call for responsibility from our citizens. December is the time, Copenhagen is the venue, I welcome you all to COP15.